Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another Killer Clowns from Outer Space the video game video. This video we're going to talk about some new information, show off some new gameplay, and most of this footage was uh, provided by three dads in a console. I recommend going and check out the, the channel. Also, I'll put a link in the description to this video. I highly recommend checking it out and giving the views. Uh, so the first thing is humans look for items and turning on noisemakers like boombots and other things. Here's some gameplay of that in the background. It looks like they changed the camera and that kind of stuff when you so you don't have to like turn the camera. It looks like it changes the camera kind of. It's very interesting. And here's the next clip. Devs talk about maps being different from each other. Let's check that out. He really learned over the past two games like you have to make the, the map not only visually look different but it has to really play differently and, you know and uh yeah, what, what we did with Ghostbusters was each map had its own flavor, so that's what we're doing with these and, and just moving forward. You can't do forests and jungles only. You have to do major, major things or else it's like, oh, it's feel like, sure, there's X maps, but it feels like only once. Okay, that's not, you know. So we're, we're banging people over the head with like, each map is different, feels different, plays different. So um, we're actually showing a, uh, a different map tomorrow. So yeah, yeah. All right, here's some small gameplay of gun gameplay, and they talked about in the video that you have to, or the interview video, uh, that you gotta find ammo and make your shots count, cause you'll get so much ammo, and then you gotta find more. And here's the next uh, clip: is devs talking about unlockables and projection. Here we go. What's a progression system like? Like, what's you know, aside from the fun factor, what's gonna keep people like? We haven't announced or kind of talked progression at all, but there will be progression, and and we've, we've used once again all of our learnings from our previous games uh, when it comes to meta. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and here's a very small clip. I'm going to be talking over that is this is how long it takes you to eat a health item like a burger. And the next clip, the devs are going to talk about mini games and a few clips of the more of the mini mini games. But the great part is when you die, a new system that we brought, they still haven't found a new game that's doing it, but like, you play these mini games. I love that they were also made from the Simon Says. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, a and special place if, you, if you're playing, uh, you're just hearing this like, ship tuned, like, 8 bit, it's, and it's really kind of fun, but that's the, that's the big layer of like us making four asymmetric games where it's like, oh, I'm dead. Well, uh,. I guess I'll, I'll tab out and leave, but oh shit, I'm playtesting, I need to stay on the server, but that's the thing, it's like we did that and purely because you can get revived, and when you get revived, you have empty pockets and that kind of sucks, but so now when you're dead, you could be doing that to give yourself stuff in hopes that someone revives you, or you can give it away like a guardian angel, and we've had like multiple just amazing moments where I'm like the last guy and I'm freaking out because I've got two clowns and I hear someone with a clown dog like barking like chasing me and I'm like throwing every baseball I can to get it to go a different direction and everything I'm doing and then I get this bing and I get a key I'm like oh my god that's all I needed and I just run to the bridge and get myself out it's like that was one of those big you know it's like the the, the battle royale style like we fucking did it you know and, <laughs> There are people that can do it a lot, but then there are people that get it like once a month and it's like, okay, let's try it again. Let's chase that. Let's chase that rabbit. That's that's what the game really has. I found the sound design to be extremely done well. And I wanted to, was that something you guys moved in on? Because I could hear footsteps. And when I were we're all these elements together to create these two separate games that need to play together in a way that people not only feel like they're a part of a killer conservation, but they're having a good time regardless of what's happening. So it's tough to zero in on anything specific because there's just so much that people don't know about yet. That's it, it's just it's just such a nuanced thing uh, that it, it's exciting because people are going to play it and they're going to want to come back. Now they're going to be talking about fear and sound. A lot of the different parts of it. I think the sound design is going to be awesome, and I'm really interested to see how it plays out, so let's check that out. It kind of freaked me out, and I know that's the point, but I, I felt that a lot of games do miss it, and I think in a horror game, I feel like you guys kind of nailed it, and was that something you guys were talking about? Oh, yeah, especially the footsteps. Like, that was, we, we needed to, especially those squeaky clown feet, like, we did instantly when we jumped onto this project, I was like, this needs to be loud, 
and you need to be able to hear it coming because nothing is worse than you're like working on something also squeak, 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 coming at you so that you're getting the spatialization and everything needed to be there so that you really, because sound is, plays such a big part that like you need to have that spatial awareness. Yeah, I mean, or you, like, if you have a bat, I mean, it's like, think of all the, the, the horror movies, like, you know, most of the horror movie sound designers, as well as the director, you know, Michael Myers, like, that, and like, we yeah, all know just it. everything, you know like, every, every, everything to, to horror is sound. You remix a, a horror, the best horror movie with bad sound, it's like, well, this sucks, you know, and it's just like, our sound team is really spot on, you know, like, we, we've been building the sound team for, since Predator, and, you know, we've got an amazing composer, got amazing sound designers, everyone that's been working with us for, you know, five, seven years, and, and it's just been, that's every single thing that we're doing, it's like, they, must be at this level. Yeah, we all, the, the whole development team pushed hard on this, with the sound design, like, really had to push hard and do a lot of things to get it ready for this demo, so really, I'll relay that. Yeah, yeah no, I, I thought they did a great job, because you had the carnival noise that you could hear, but it still, you would have this, like, it was almost like it, they purposely put in, like, just a quiet footstep so you could hear the clowns coming, I'm like, oh my god, like, come on. <laughs> and it's like when you see, like, an 80s horror movie where you can see it coming, and you're, like, trying, you see the character trying to get away, and I'm like, oh, I'm about to die, all right, whatever. <laughs> And here's some new information. One of the YouTubers from that channel uh, asked, uh, tells about their experience uh, hiding in a hiding spot. And there's many games to avoid being camping in the hiding spots. And so if you mess up the mini game, clowns can find you. So let's check out that part. Yeah. It's not even close. And then I hid in the garbage can. And then I realized you make me play a mini game where they're going to find me in the garbage can. So kudos on that. I thought I could just hide there. And then I'm like, no. So that's yeah, unprecedented yeah. time, and I got to get out and I had to run away. There's Pretty purposely wrong. a lot of micro meta where it's like, uh, you know, finding a baseball. It's like, oh, okay, I use this, and I just use it as a weapon. But you know, having it so you can throw it to a different area, or everything usually has like two pieces or two elements to it, and that's that layer that we get to like really mess around with. Where it's like, oh. You get the axe, what do you use the axe for? Oh, it's for attacking the clowns. Actually, it's for clearing a, a barricade. And so it is one of those elements where like, you need to use these things in multiple ways. So you're constantly thinking about like, oh, I've got, my, my pockets are full. Oh crap, I get the air horn, shit. What do I, do I use it to, to you know, scare off the clowns? Do I use it to alert people that clowns are there? Like, or do I just move on? And, and that those are those elements, but also- Here's another part of the Deb's talking about customization, and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun to mess around with. Um, like, you can create your own kind of clown, but still keep it to the movies. But you just customize how they look, color, all that kind of stuff. Very interesting to see how that plays out. Customization, I guess going back to your other question, is another thing we haven't talked about much that's going to be a fun addition when people get their hands on us. So, yeah. Just the Monster Factory. <laughs> uh, it's going to be really fun, for sure. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and go please check out uh, Three Dads and a Console. I appreciate them. Um, let me share this information with you guys, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.